Hello, hi friends. My name is Sarvansh, and thank you for watching my the other videos about SSEM and Intune tutorial. So, in today's video, we are going to discuss about Intune enroll methods that is going to use in Intune. How we can enroll a device into Intune? That methods we are using uh, will understand what are the methods we are going to use. So, let me start this video. So uh, before going to start that, let's try to understand what is the device enrollment in Intune. So Intune let you manage your work uh, workforces, devices, and the app, and and how they access your the company data. So basically, what is the device enrollment? So this is the enrollment is a process that uh, you can enroll your device into your Intune console so enrollment you can say it's a process like earlier we was using in SSEM so one side is SSEM console and another side is we was installing a SSEM client but here we are saying a enrolling a device into Intune console so to use this mobile device management the device must first to enroll in the Intune services so if you want to utilize the Intune services, you should enroll a device into Intune console. Then you can utilize the Intune services. So when a device is enrolled, it used an, uh, used an MDM certificate. So basically what happened when you are going to enroll the device, it should use the MDM certificate. This certificate is used to communicate with the Intune services. So when you are enrolling any device into Intune console, so there should be a, uh, one certificate that is a MDM certificate on the end user machine that will help you to create a connection or the communication in between your end user and the Intune console. So each method depends on the device ownership like a, what kind of device you are going to manage, it's a personal or corporate or what type of device it is it's like a iOS Windows Android and the management requirement like the uh, you need a reset or affinity or locking so let's try to understand the method now so here I create a table that is a iOS iPad OS device enrollment method so for the iOS or iPad type of OS what kind of method we are going to use so we can see it here so first thing is a method is called a BYOD so it's a bring your own device and uh, this method we can use it to um, enroll in a uh, enroll a device into a Intune so let's see what are the things are required so reset required reset in the sense uh, is a device are wiped during the enrollment so will your device will be wiped or not so uh, when you are using the BYOD method so your device will not be wiped during this method and the user affinity user affinity is something uh, when one user is managing the one uh, multiple devices so uh, that for this particular user there will be one primary device so um, user affinity will take, uh, decide on this particular user which of the primary devices allocated so that is comes under the user affinity locked thing it is like a something which uh, uh, through the Intune console if you want to lock any of the device so you can do it through the Intune console so that feature is used in Intune suppose any uh, device is lost or a user leave or he has not hand over the devices to company and you want to lock the device so you can do it through the Intune console so let's try to understand the uh, other method so in the BYOD you can um, reset required no reset is not required user affinity required yes uh, so you can use the user affinity features yes and the lock the device so when when you enrolling a device in the BYOD method then you cannot uh, lock that device or you don't have the control to lock this device so there is a DAM method DEM so this is the device and uh, the device enrollment manager that called like a DAM so uh, in this method so reset required no user affinity no and the lock no the same way we can see in it 
ADE service optional and these chart are they are USB so I will explain these method in the my the coming slides so let's move it on next Mac OS and roll method so in the Mac we are using three types of method that is a BYOT TAM and ADE so these are the three uh, three methods we're gonna use it reset and user affinity log so you can see in the features uh, how we can do this let's see the windows enrollment method so for the windows enroll methods we have uh, byod dam auto enroll autopilot bulk enrollment co-management and gpo so a few of them i put it uh, into the slides uh, with their complete description to make you understand so i will explain there uh, let me go with the the co-management hope you guys know about the co-management so co-management is something which device is going to manage with the SSEM or MECM and with the Intune that comes under the co-management so these table you can make a note and uh, no, I don't want to explain this completely where there is no and yes so you can see in it and make a note you just my purpose is to pick this table to make you understand what kind of method we can use for the uh, this windows mac and the ios so let's move it to the uh, android devices enrollment so android devices management is having two types of enrollment one is a personal one is a corporate so in the personal android device admin so what the method we are going to use it user initiated via the company portal so how it will work it will uh, you have to install a company portal name uh, application uh, from the uh, google play uh, sorry play store from your the android devices and from there you can configure so uh, in my coming videos i can show you how you can enroll a device this video is just about to explain what are the methods available to enroll any devices either it's a mac os windows os or android os let us move it to the next so uh, android corporate enrollment methods so uh, in the corporate admin devices that is method going to use is uh, DEM initiated via the company portal and the rest of the things already you understand what is the meaning of uh, reset required user affinity and the lock so what are the features we can use um, and other thing is a corporate admin devices pre declare IMI E as an user initiated company via the portal okay uh, so these are the methods we have you can just make a note and understand it when you are enrolling a device what the method your company going to follow that you can use it let me go something brief uh, explanation about the methods so uh, let's talk about the bring um, bring your own devices it is called like a BYOD so what is the BYOD so BYOD is a very big topic how you gonna manage it uh, I will explain in coming video so here I'm <coughs> Here I am giving you just a, a little bit introduction about the BYOD. So bring your own devices include personally owned phones, tablet and the Macs. Suppose you purchase any of the devices like you purchase your laptop or tablet or the phones. But you want to use it that the your as a corporate work or in your company work you want to use it. So company provide you a facility via the Intune. You can uh, go with the BYOD method. So uh, you can enroll your device into Intune and you can use the device as a office purpose also So user install and run the company portal app to enroll the BYOD. So what the user uh, How it will work so user install and run the company portal app. So this is the po uh, app you can get it from the Play Store and uh, you, you can get it from the Play Store or the Google uh, apps or uh, it's it depend like uh, from the um, if you are using the iPhone so from there you can search by this name only uh, on your the app store so company portal you need to install it to enroll your the device BYOD device so this program let user access company resources like the emails so if you enroll your device into Intune by using the uh, BYOD so you can access uh, company emails in your the personal device let's talk about the corporate on devices it's called like COD so what is the COD so corporate on device COD include like a phone tablets PC um, owned by the organization and distributed to the workforce 
so um, how it will work when uh, so uh, currently in the IT this process is uh, using COD corporate on device so basically company purchase any of the device like phone or uh, laptop desktop it is giving to um, user to for to come to work on their work uh, and to connect their the infra so uh, the devices companies purchasing and basically giving to the uh, their employee that is comes under the cod so corporate owned devices so you can uh, manage the corporate owned devices into intune so a common way to enroll cod is the administrator or the manager uh, to use the dam dam method so dam uh, what is that this is a device enroll manager so via the device enroll manager you can enroll the your the cod devices into intune console let me go with the next ios and ipad os so devices can enroll through the ade tool that are the provided by apple so apple provide a ade tool through that you can enroll the your ios and ipad os devices into intune console now device with the imei number so, uh, can also identify as a tagged as a corporate owned now let's talk about the device enrollment manager what is that so device enroll manager is a special user account that enroll a device to manage the multiple corporate own devices so uh, this is a like a one special user where you're having the complete admin right so it can use to enroll all, all the devices into a console so this is the single one user where uh, it will be having the admin right or the uh, intune administrator rights to enroll the devices so this is kind of a method so manager uh, manager can install the company portal so this is the dam uh, can install with the dam process you can install the company portal and enroll the device and all many userless devices userless devices in the sense that device has not allocated to any of the employee but before allocating only you are enrolling into intune console so that is called like a userless device now these type of a device are good for point of a scale uh, point of uh, point of sale or the utility app for example um, for example but not for the user want to access the email of the company okay so uh, if you are using this dam method and you are enrolling any of the device but with that user you cannot uh, go and access the email or anything once it you know, once this device is allocated to any of the user that the user can configure uh, with his id and then he can utilize the company email and the other thing let's talk about the um ade so we had this name ade method and when we see in the last slide okay uh, the ade also is the one of the method and for the um, ios to end on the device so what is that ade so ade basically apple automated device enrollment let's see how it will work so apple automated device enrollment uh, management let you create and the deploy policy it's called like over the air at ios ipad and mac os devices that are purchased that are purchased and managed with the ade so if you purchase a devices with the ade and it enrolled to first into ade when when you enroll actually and you have to configure your the ade so your all the details will uh, reach out to the ade and then from there you can configure into intune so ade application is provided by the iphone uh, sorry apple so device the devices are uh, enrolled when the user is turned on okay so that's what i was explaining you so when you own the device and you are owning it uh when you put it the power on then you uh, you have to enroll it so devices enroll when the user turn on the device in the first time and run the setup assessment so after uh, after on it uh, when you turn on the device so you will be getting a pop-up or you have to set up um, run the setup assistant uh, application in that device then it will enroll automatically so this method support to iOS iPod or supervised mode so this uh, uh, this process actually ad will uh, this method support to iOS iPad and the supervised mode let's see the method is usb and uh, 
usb sa method so what it is so it team use the apple configurator uh, through the usb to appear the device corporate own so when the corporate only device would purchase a bulk of devices and they want to enroll into intune so they can use the usb as a method so in that what it will happen so it admins uh, use the apple configurator tool through the usb and they can enroll the devices into intune console so it admin create and the enrollment profile and export it to the apple configurator so they will create a uh, enrollment profile and later on they can put it to or move it to in a enrollment uh, apple configurator so when user device um, when the user receive a device they are uh, getting a uh, prompt to run the setup assistant uh, setup assistant to enroll their device so when you first time own your device and so you will be getting a like a setup assessment and um, then you are filling your the details then the device will be enrolled to into this method support ios supervised mode so when you turn on uh, enable the following features so you have to enable the uh, the features locked enrollment and the qs mode and the other advanced configuration and the restrictions another method is usb direct so uh, this is also similar like what we was discussing in usb uh, i mean last one what usb sa mode so this is also the similar uh, let's see what extra we can get at here for the direct enrollment admin must enroll each device manually so basically the admins who are working to enroll this device they have to enroll the each device manually and enroll policy and exporting the app, uh, apple configurator so that also work with the usb method so usb connect corporate on device are enrolled directly and does not require a wipe so with this process we does not require to uh, wipe like we does not want to reset or format the os so device are managed as a userless so because this is using a tool and the it admins are going to enroll this device so this will be a userless device so userless device is uh, something where uh, the um, actual user who, who will be the owner for this device he's not enrolling the device uh, so uh, if the it admin guys is enrolling a device that called like a userless device they are not in the locked or supervised and can't support the conditionary access shell break detection or the mobile application management so these were the uh, method was there in that um, about um, to enroll a device into intune console so you can just go back to video and you can make a note what kind of methods are available in a lot of interviews they are asking into interviews so it will be help there it will help you the uh, to crack the exam md101 and let's see now the uh, this the last option i put it for you so mobile device cleanup after the mdm certificate expiration expiration how it will work so device uh, the mdm certificate is uh, renewed automatically so basically what happened your if your uh, the device certificate got expired mdm certificate got expired so it will renew the automatically with the intune services now if the device are wiped suppose uh, you wipe the device and uh, or they fail to communicate with the intune services in that mdm certificate will not be renewed now the devices owned from the azure portal uh, is uh, okay so devices are removed from the azure portal after the 180 days so by this is by default setting if any of the device certificate got expired and not communicating um, from a 180 days then device automatically removed from the your intune portal okay guys so thank you for watching this video hope you like this video so soon and my next video please share my video subscribe it and like it so i will create some more video for you guys to understand the intune better thank you guys